Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to use Leonardo AI to combine multiple pictures into a single scene. This video is coming after a request from multiple subscribers and I really wanted to do it as well. So I finally have an idea to get it done live. Alright, before we get started, make sure to have a Leonardo AI account set up. If you don't have one already, make sure to go to my first video where I explain all the steps to set it up. If this is your first time to my channel, I would like to welcome you. Please add a comment telling me about your professional background so I know where you're coming from. And if you do like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. So for today's video, I'm going to use the AI canvas again. And if you haven't seen my first video about this, make sure to go check that out because a lot of things I'm going to do today are explained in that video. To get started, I'm going to go to my AI image generation section and select an image to get started. I'm going to keep with my theme of female alchemists. And today I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to call her golden fire. So I'm going to use golden fire, but I'm going to use a few other pictures and add that on to create a whole scene. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over golden fire and select edit in canvas. This opens my picture in the canvas. I'm going to go up to 50%. I want to mention a couple of things here. The pictures I'm going to use today are full generations. That means they're full pictures. They're not pictures with the background removed. I'm going to create another video in the future where I'm going to create a scene with pictures which have their background removed. So an example of a picture I'm going to use today is this one. As you, as you see, this picture also comes with a background. And what I wanted to mention is the picture you choose should be sort of similar to the theme that you have. So here I have an enchanted forest. If I select a picture like say this one, which is more of a painting, it might be harder to add that on because it doesn't really go with the theme of my current picture. This is more of a painting. Another example is say this one. This is more of a person in a city. This doesn't really go with this enchanted forest theme that my alchemist is sitting in. A good model here to go with golden fire here is the Luna model. So as you see, uh, all the creations in the Luna model are similar in that sort that they look like they're in sort of a dreamy enchanted forest. So if you add creatures of this style, it will blend really well with this background. So in today's video, I'm going to add two creatures which are both generated using the Luna theme. For the first picture, I'm going to upload it from my previous generations. I'm going to add this creature. I'm going to move this picture right here. Let me adjust the sizes a bit. I'm going to increase the size of golden fire about here. And I'm going to reduce the size of the creature. I think I should name them as well. I should call this one mystical owl. And now what I'm going to do is to bring my grid right here. Maybe I can adjust the size up to here. I don't think I need one that big. So I have 512 by 512. Make sure I have enough overlap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a prompt saying birds. Just keep it simple and I'm going to use one token and that should be enough to cover this section. Create two images, click generate. All right, so this did not quite come out as expected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to adjust the location of golden fire right here. Now I'm going to click another generation right there. So I think this one is better than before. It did complete this tree and complete the branch that uh, mystical owl was sitting on. But I don't think I'm quite happy with this or the other one. So what's happening here is since I have a larger grid to work with, so the AI has more space to work with and try to fill in the information from both the pictures. Let me see what this one generates. All right, so I played around with the prompt a little bit. And what I realized is if I was trying to put in creatures, it was trying to do realistic versions of those creatures versus do more mystical style creatures. Uh, if I use a prompt more relevant to the scene, then it's doing a better job at both filling up the picture and actually matching it to the scene. And I hope this gives you a little bit of insight on how live image generation works. It completed this rock that the mystical owl was sitting on. It completed this tree. It added this table and a bunch of things on the table along with the lamp that I requested. Let's see the current state of the picture. All right, not bad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this whole picture here and I'm going to add the next image. So for that, I'm going to upload that image from my computer and I'm going to use Mr. Chameleon. So I'm going to add a smaller version of the chameleon right here. I'm going to add him right here. And this time I'm going to merge this section. Let me use the same size of the grid and I'm going to keep it right there. And let me use the prompt as plants. All right, I think this one did a much better job on the first try. All right, this looks like more of a scene. I have golden fire right here. 
with mystical owl and mr chameleon i do think there needs to be some color correction here like the color of green here and here and here are all different and that is something you need to do in the post processing now i'm going to finish up the picture i chose a grid which is the size of 1408 by 512 and i'm going to say trees all right that was unexpected so it did cover up the background with the trees like i wanted but it also added this text here i think i like this font it kind of looks like a book cover so i'm going to click accept here and if you look at from a distance, this does look like a poster of some sort. As you see, this sometimes can happen when you're trying to generate AI images. For me, when I try out things, I think at least 50% of my attempts fail or don't work out as I expected. And you need to understand that everything you try will not work and that's okay. Let me fill up the last few ends of this picture. The first generation is not that good, but I think the second one is much better. Alright, now I have a final scene here and there's quite a few things I like and there's some things I don't like. I'll tell you both of them. So I started with Golden Fire right here. I added Mystical Owl and I also added Mr. Chameleon here. When I started adding them, what I realized is when I have two pictures too close, uh, sometimes it struggles to match the prompt I'm requesting. If I make my prompt too generic, then sometimes I can fill it up but the images might not be as good and if I make them too specific, it does not know what to do and throws in random things. Like the lamp here is relevant to the picture here and to the background here. So it did a good job in completing the table. But when I started using trees here, it did not really work out the way I had planned. After I had the lamp in place, it did cover up the rest of the trees well, but you already saw it live in action. Now the next thing is when I tried to add Mr. Chameleon here, I see that the leaves are a bit more realistic than the leaves in the rest of the picture. As you see, the leaves here are more on the foggy side. It looks like it's covered in fog, but here the leaves look like they're in sunlight. So that is one thing I don't really like, and I think I need to work on that one in this picture. Another thing is sometimes text might show up and you might not like that. But I, for this picture, I think I like the text here because it looks like a poster and this does not make sense. It's not really English. And I think that in a funny way also goes with the theme of this enchanted forest. Maybe they don't really speak English here. Maybe they speak this language, which I don't know. And I think this makes the picture kind of more eerie, kind of more enchanting. So I like the letters here and I think if someone were to print this poster out I think the words go well with the background of the picture but you might disagree with me and if, and if you do disagree add a comment and let me know what you think and what you don't like or like about the picture but I think I gave you a good idea of how to work with multiple pictures how to merge them what issues can show up when you're trying that out I personally am pretty happy with this picture I think it's almost there but it still needs some work, some editing to be done for it to be perfect. But I hope you did enjoy this video along with all its imperfections. I had a great time creating it. If you have tried merging multiple pictures in the canvas yourself, please let me know how it went. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like and hit the subscribe button. Till the next video, thank you so much.